Hey Taurus, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Thank you to all of my new subscribers and existing subscribers. Your love and support is very, very, very much felt and appreciated. <clears throat> For those of you who uh, are awakened and already into your spiritual gifts, I will be hosting a private um, Zoom meeting, uh, Zoom training to assist with developing, further developing your uh, spiritual gifts. It's not a class for beginners, but for those of you who are already in your gift. So my contact details are below. Um, if you're interested, just send me an email saying, hey, I'm interested in your advanced psychic training. Okay, Taurus. You got love and happiness. Y'all know I love me some Al Green. Some Al Green. All right, so let's see. We got the Two of Cups with the Sun. Um, angels are staying emotionally connected and aligned with your person. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you feel like you found that person. You found the one. You guys uh, ha are now on equal emotional wavelengths um it feels like there is peace or that is what you are trying to achieve with that sun card there where the chills come from this is leo right so i do kind of feel like um there's just a lot of joy and pride in being with each other and feeling like you found your person you got the ten of pentacles and the three of cups there's happiness, there's celebration going on. I'm sorry, guys. This could be a married marriage. Did somebody just get married? Right? You got the Ten of Cups here. Um, you got the, the Hierophant here. You got Taurus showing up in their own reading. You got Aries here. You got Leo. And that's it. Okay? Um, angels are saying to me, that you want this person. This person makes you happy. Um, I feel like somebody's ready to get married or be married. Or like I said, you guys could already be married. Um, but for some reason, there's a breakdown in communication. Yeah, look at all these communication swords. There's a breakdown in communication. Ooh. Oh, angels just said over what you guys want for each other. Maybe uh, the future of your relationship, your family, um, career, where you live, things of that nature. I just heard for some of you, somebody's hinting at wanting to be married and wanting to commit. And somebody's response is, listen, when I'm ready, I'll do it. Okay. And the other person is like, well, understand that this is what I want and I love you. Oh, 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 sorry, guys. I'm channeling as I'm talking. Um, Your person wants to be married. They're happy with how things are going. They're in love with you. Um, They can see themselves with you for the rest of their lives. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So, Taurus, you feel like your person's cat's meow right and i do feel like you want it too you could see yourself in a marriage you could see yourself with this person okay but i just do feel like right here there's a meeting of the minds or a battle of the egos where they're waiting for you to pop the question or they're waiting for you to commit but also at the same time, I feel like this person is setting boundaries. They're, ooh, sorry. They're basically saying, listen, okay, well, until you commit, <laughs> cross watcher, don't ever tell this to, an, to a uh, Taurus. But it's almost like, okay, well, until you commit, we not going to have sex no more. Don't tell that to a Taurus. <laughs> don't, cross watcher, okay? But I do kind of feel like with this um, emperor here who's Aries, somebody has put their foot down. Somebody has set a boundary right? It could be an ultimatum too. Somebody has kind of quote unquote flexed their muscle, you know, um, and it kind of opened your eyes and woke you up, but turned you off at the same time. 
Your person will say, well, you know, I just got to protect me and making sure I'm making choices for the right reason, not just because you're great in bed, which Taurus, you know you are, right? But I just kind of feel like, oh, there's this monkey wrench. They just kind of threw this monkey wrench into it, you know, and oh, that's what it was. Oh, your person is flexing their muscle because they feel powerless in this. I can hear them saying, well, I just want to make sure that I have a voice and you understand what I want and where I'm coming from, right? Your person, I feel like, is kind of, again, putting their foot down, standing their ground. And to an extent, it's almost like it's turning you off. You know, it's kind of turning you off from them. But for some, ooh, that's what it is because you're too much to handle. You got the Hierophant and you have this King of King of Swords. So Taurus, I kind of feel like, yeah, mm, angels just said to me, you could be a little bit controlling, loving, right? But kind of controlling. Oh, we're going to get married here. We're going to do this. We're going to go, go to Tahiti. We're going to, and your person is like, whoa, I have a say in this too. Okay. And by the way, we're not going to get married until X, Y, Z, right? They, whatever that X, Y, Z is. And that turns you to fuck off Taurus. It is what it is. And again, it doesn't have to be marriage. It just could be a commitment. Oh, well, I'm not going to commit to you until you handle that baby mama drama, right? I, ooh, God, I'm getting chills around my ears. Ooh, ooh, this must be somebody's story. Now, with the King of Swords, cross watcher, um, Taurus are the bull in the Zodiac. So you don't kind of challenge a bull with a straw or a plastic spoon, okay? So if you're going to be whipping around your power and your authority, honey, you best to be prepared, okay, to be cut off, left alone, pushed to the side, downgraded, <laughs> right? Or even told about yourself. I don't care how much this Taurus loves you, okay? Don't be giving Taurus no, no ultimatum, okay? Don't be trying to say to Taurus, okay, Mr. Bull, bow down, cross watcher. Cross watcher. I'm telling you how I'm telling you what I'm feeling, babies. Okay. Um, to an extent, your Taurus could have cut you off and ghosted your ass. Okay. Now you all trying to run back in and reconnect and reconcile and do whatever, but your Taurus is like, have fun. Don't do you not know I will fucking dead your ass in tutus? All right. Anyway, sorry, cross watcher. It is what it is. This, look, look, this, this, you guys are happy together. You want each other. You're like power couple, perfect couple. You guys can do amazing things together. But I just kind of feel like you got to let them in, Taurus. You got to let them in. You got the Hierophant and the, the, um, uh, knight, excuse me, the King of Swords, right? Um, you got to let them in. These are barking orders. Like you're just telling them what we're going to do. Taurus, you got to let them in. You got to give them a say. Give give them something to do. You got the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords here. So your person, I feel like they're trying to communicate their wants and needs, needs and desires. You both feel like, yeah, this can go to distance, right? You, you When you guys go out, you have fun. When you hang out with friends, your friends love you. People love being around you. But I just kind of feel like behind closed doors, there is an imbalance in power. And your person, Taurus, is feeling powerless. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. That five of wands, that five of wands says to me, we're great together. But behind closed doors, behind closed doors, we bump the fuck out of each other's heads. And it's not even fair because you got the Hierophant and the king of swords but the emperor at the end of the day the emperor the emperor tells both of them what to do you know what i mean and this kind of says to me you got the two of cups here twice right this kind of says to me that although you may feel like you're running the relationship or you're taking the lead in the relationship it's really your person at the end of the day who can decide to walk away right and to an extent especially here with this four of cups that kind of says to me, why won't they just go along? I have the I have the best interest for my person. Why won't they just kind of go along with what it is that I'm trying to do for us? 
And Taurus, I will let you in on something that I read a long time ago, which basically says the reason why people tend to kind of quote unquote check out of a situation or check out of a process like, you know, oh, we're going to do this. This is who we're going to be. This is where we're going to go. The reason why your person is checking out of this is because they're not a part of the planning. You are not making any room for them to decide and be a part of the decision making. And I just kind of feel here with this two of cups, the Hierophant, and this page of swords, it's almost like, again, this energy here up here says to me, from your standpoint, Taurus, you guys are a done deal. But I feel like your person is trying to communicate to you, oh, wait a minute, boo-boo. Wait, look, 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 just popped out. Look, it just popped out. Your person is trying to communicate to you like, look, dude, here are my wants, needs, and desires. I feel like you're ignoring me. So you know what? Until you ignore me, you know what? As, as good as we are together, I will break this tie if necessary. You know, I'm feeling powerless right now. I feel like you got all the control and you got all the power. But you don't. Because I'm expressing my control and my power. Hmm. Interesting, Taurus. Three of Cups. Woohoo. Mmm. You know who you guys are? You're a Facebook couple. And what I feel when I say that is you guys look amazing. You know how on Facebook everybody like shares their happy stories and the stories when they all look good, but when you see them at home on Thursday, did they wrecked up and tore up? That's what I feel like this is. You guys look good from the outside, but on the inside, again, I just feel like there is an imbalance in power. Okay? With this um, six of, six of um, wands, I feel like, Taurus, if you take heed... If you take heed to the fact that your person is continuously trying to express to you their discontent, if you take heed to that and adjust, you know, some of your stuff, you guys absolutely will have a shot in hell. Okay. But if not, you guys are continuously going to go at each other. And I just kind of feel like with this um, King of Swords and the Knight of Swords, again, when it comes to communication, there's an imbalance. Again, one is barking. One could be talking at your person. And you're a cross watcher. Your person can be like, you don't hear me. I feel like when I talk to you, it's almost like you can repeat back to me what I said. But I really don't feel like you are hearing me. You know what I mean? Children. Angels just said to me, the communication in this relationship is immature. It's it's a bit childish. It You know what's crazy? What just came to me? It feels like father, father, child, father, child, right? Father, here. Um, it feels like father, child, as in, you know, ooh, one person is the dominant and one person is submissive. And I mean submissive in a, ne a negative way. It's safe for you to love. Because, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, a real true lover is not a leader, right? A real true lover is not calling all the shots. Yeah, you could be the head of the household, but that don't mean that you you in charge of every freaking thing in the whole entire house, outside the house, across the street from the house. It's like release some of that control, right? You're doing too much. So when it says it's safe for you to love, it's like go on and give up control to your person because you love them and you want to be with them. Come on, Taurus. Passion, right? It definitely. Mm, I'm sorry. I, I That one caught me off guard because I feel like there could be, there's a whole lot of love. But love and passion are two different things. They're like apple, uh, oranges, and tangerines, right? But I feel like there's a lot of love here. Um, But maybe you guys are lacking passion. I don't know. I don't know what that one meant. I'm going to pull another one. Soulmate. Yeah. Definitely. Ugh, I don't know, Taurus. It just kind of feels like you are 
retreat, right? You guys kind of going off and maybe taking some time to really talk about each other's wants, needs, and desires. Um, sectioning yourself off from the world, leaving the kids behind, and just really getting down to the nitty gritty of how you feel about each other because I feel like there's a disconnect. I do believe, yeah, you guys both want each other and you want to be with each other. You make each other happy. But y'all know what they say. Communication is what, number one, and why relationships break down in the number one cause of divorce. So Taurus, please, I'm begging you, don't be another statistic. Listen to your person, open up to your person, allow your person in. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If this does resonate, please feel free to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love, bye.